In March 2023, I started my base building journey doing easy run every day with the marathon method. Today, I'm going to break down my 3 month journey of doing math training as a beginner and share with you the 4 lessons I learned along the way. For this 3 month alone, I did all of my run follow the guide of my math heart rate. My pace were varies between 8.30 to 7.30 per kilometer and I started my training with doing 5 to 6 runs per week with a weekly volume of 2.5 to 3 hours. Week 1 and 2 was the most excited and the most toughest one for me. I was excited about getting into this new style of training with a goal of running faster while still can maintain in a low heart rate but I did not expect that the reality actually gave me a big hit. In order to maintain my heart rate in the guided range, I have to slow down my pace to pace 8, pace 9. Even with that, my heart rate still was not covered. It keep going up and I have to walk in between my run to bring it down. At the moment, I was really demotivating and start to doubt about the training method but I know in running, there were no overnight success, I need to believe in myself, believe the training, give some more time for me to try it out and let's see how it progress. After 2 weeks into the training, I start to notice some slight improvement. I was able to complete a 45 minute run by running continuously while keeping my heart rate within 157 BPM. I was so happy to see myself now able to maintain running under a steady heart rate without having to alternate between running and walking. This was kind of the first achievement that helped me to gain some confidence. Then I continued to stick with my training plan and did a math test around 1 month into the training. It was a 6.5 km test that helped me to get a benchmark to see how I progress with my math training as I go. Second month into my math training, I increased my training volume to around 3 to 3.5 hours per week. It did feel easier for me to maintain my effort and I think my body was handling the training volume very well as all I do was just running in an easy effort so I did not feel any accumulation of tiredness, exhaustion to the next day. Sometimes I even feel fresh after my run like I can straight away start another session after my training. This month, I also saw a nice improvement on my pace from the beginning of 8.30 per kilometer down to now running at 7.30 per kilometer still can maintain within my math heart rate. Coming into the third month, I kept my training exactly the same as previous, no big of a change and I think my body start to get familiar with this training style so without any additional strategy, I start to see less improvement. From the math test I did in third month, I got a result of maintaining in the mid 7 range. After I finished finished my 3 months of math training, I then started my half marathon training block with the aerobic base I gained and still using the same method to do my easy run. So that was my 3 month progress. Along the journey, I have things that I did it right and of course, I do hope I can start something much more earlier to make my training more efficient and I'm ready to share with you the 4 lessons I learned. Lesson number 1, stay consistent with volume. I believe to become better at something, you need to spend time on doing it and my base improvement contributed to my consistency and commitment to the training. I keep myself consistent to math training by listing down the training plan for the whole 3 months right before the training start, mainly the duration, time and day of the workout. By planning ahead, I can always have an idea about what training I will be doing next and I can have time to get myself ready by doing some small action like laying down my running kit a night before, get into my sleep early as this little action actually helped me to stick with my training plan, make it possible for me to stay consistent. Then was to keep myself committed to the training. The whole idea was to control myself running under a zone of heart rate so it allowed my body to learn working with oxygen thus improve my aerobic base. Across my training, I simply follow that guide slowing down myself. In some situation, I even walk to cooperate with my heart rate making sure that I spend all of my training volume below my maximum aerobic zone. To get the most result, you need to stay consistent by keep showing up and stay focused on execute your plan. Lesson number 2, get the mindset right. I have doubt in my brain after a few days of starting math training because I have to completely change my style of running, slowing down my pace, walking. I'm really not sure whether it was right to do it like that. If you have the same feedback as me, it will be totally normal because it felt really frustrated when you have to limit the speed to get the workout done correct. Many runners who tried this training before actually had the same experience to find that it is hard to keep the heart rate down especially in the first week of training. It makes you doubt about your fitness level, am I really that bad? Why my heart rate was so high just running in a slow pace? I have the same sound in my mind, just I never allow myself to give up or quit. I turn my perspective around into a more positive way, give myself a few more weeks to test it out, see whether it works or not. As you can see, I've been through the most toughest week 1 and week 2 just before the improvements start to kick in so you really need to set a right mindset when you decided to do this training. Believe in your workout, believe in your effort, time will give you the best result. Lesson number 3, incorporate strength training at least once per week. I talked to runners that were also doing math training, they always mentioned about strength
strength training is one of the most important element and routine this is something i missed during my three months of mat training so i think i just missed something important that i hope i can do it that time but now i did start to incorporate strength training back into my routine and my routine are actually pretty simple i did a few movements to target my leg like squat hamstring deadlift and calf raises it helps to strengthen my leg as i can feel my leg were providing me some extra power during my run it also helps to reduce the risk of exposed to injury as we will be working on the leg muscle activation correcting the imbalance for both legs and strengthening the joint making us a more resilient runners and coming into lesson number four the importance of recovery recovery always play a big role to help me show up in every of my training although the intensity of math training is low but i still prioritize eight hours sleep massage routine to get my body ready to run i think i did a great job but something i would like to add to my recovery is i want to have a set of weight in this three month of training i kept my training volume increased nor maintained but my improvement seems start to hit the wall my pace was maintaining in the final month i think my body start to not react to the training well after accumulate totals of three month training load maybe my body was tired inside or it get familiar with this training style causing the efficient of training might not be as that good so to make things a little different i will plan a set of weight every three weeks by decrease my training volume in around 20 to 30 percent allow my body to adjust recover and get ready to train again it has been a great three months of doing math training i learned a lot it helps to improve my aerobic base i find the importance of doing strength training as well as listen to my body take some off week might be more efficient to make long-term improvement this lesson will really be helpful for me in starting my next half marathon training block in the training block i will start doing some speed workout while follow the 80 20 rules maintaining my easy run for 80 percent of the time i will also keep doing my strength training routine and remind myself to plan a few set of weight in between for recovery purpose so that is my plan i hope everything will work out well as i continue to strive for my sub 2 half marathon of course i will document and update my journey into a video series you can check it out around here and as always i hope you guys have a great run today enjoy the video and i will see you guys in the next one bye